We're back with another special edition, New Music Alert. We have a very talented singer, songwriter, entertainer, and much more. Please welcome Tim Carlos. Tim. How are you doing? Hi, Joe. Wow. What, what a story you have. It's You grew up amongst royalty. Little did you know as a kid, but your mom and Catherine Jackson were sisters. And Catherine, of course, is the mother of Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, Randy, and all of them, Marlon. Um, so I know you always had music around. Did your did your mother uh, play music in the house? Actually, did you, she did you have like a radio or record player? Well, well, she played music, but she also was a musician in school. She played okay. the cello. Wow, what a beautiful instrument. Mm -hmm. So she would play cello. Mm -hmm. She would also have uh, records or radio in the home? Absolutely. She always would um, listen to Stevie Wonder and uh, other artists, James Brown, Aretha Franklin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, yeah. As as a young child loving music, who were some of the first artists that really had a big influence on you? Like you went out of your way to find out, well, who is that? And what other records do they have out? Really, you know, kind of went down that rabbit hole for individual artists. Who who were those artists? Well, um, well, Teddy Pendergast, uh, James Brown, uh, also the OJ's, yeah, the Temptations. Diana Ross, the Supremes, you know, um, those are primarily the ones. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Timeless music. You know, you, you put on one of those records now and just seems as fresh as when we first heard it, you know, uh, there's something about the human emotion of real musicians, real singers, you know, that, um, bring us back, you know, today, there's a lot of technology, and that technology could be used to enhance talent. Some of it can be used to overcome or, or kind of embellish talent where the technology might be more important than the talent. So yeah. you come from an era of real singers, real performers. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you can't sing it and perform it, you know, it's um it's not real. No, you're right. It's not real. Yeah. Well, I know you went to New York and then out to L.A. by 75 to pursue acting initially and, and realize that there's a lot of cattle calls. There's a lot of casting calls that don't end up in any work um, right. out of politics. When, yeah. when, did, when did you start to write your first songs? In the 80s. Okay. You remember your yeah. first song, what that experience was like? Did you have yes. a co-writer or a musician helping you? Oh, yes. Actually, uh, Carl King, which was an artist of my brother at that time, uh, he was a prolific uh, songwriter as well. And then uh, Chuck Tennant, which we both know, yeah. uh, he had uh, one of Elvis live uh, producers uh, for Elvis. I forget his name. You, you probably know who he is, but uh, he uh, produ uh, produced my song along with Carl King. And uh, so that was Military Jam. Wow. And did writing come easy to you once you started? Did you just keep it up? And how did you oh, yeah. get better? Were there, were there mentors or did you go to any no. classes or how, how did no. you learn the craft? It's, it's, a, it's a natural thing for me. In other words, if I have an experience or I see an experience that someone has and it hits me and it touches me, I can write it in five minutes. Because once you start reminiscing what happened or when this, uh, you just start writing and it just flows. Okay. Interesting. And those are the best songs. And then there's songs that you write that you get a mental block and you can't write, so you have to put it down for an hour or two or maybe till the next day or next week. But there are songs that you really take to heart and you could just write it without even thinking what's going on. You just write it, just naturally flows. 
Yes. And tell us that how that's evolved through to today, where you have new music, you're you're doing releases and uh continuing to grow your music. Yes. Uh to, to, well <clears throat> what I'm doing today is I'm just like I have uh, several songs that I've written. As a matter of fact, I was recording a song yesterday uh, called Are You the One for Me? And uh, it's going to be a very nice dance song, which I've been looking to do for a long time. And then uh, the one song, I just released a video called Rose, uh, which is um, a video a song about a young lady I met in a club. And I was really intrigued by her. And so uh, we met, we exchanged numbers, and I just wrote a song about her in five minutes. Interesting. And what um, what are some of the names of your current songs? Okay, so my current songs is um, Rosie Rosa, Rose, and Are You the One for Me? It Feels So Good. And then I have songs like about 13 or 14 songs already on the internet. Uh, I want you back, my baby, my love. Um, Let me touch you, which is a very sentimental song, romantic song. Um, My love is so good for you. I like it for you. Crazy for your love. And, you know, I, I like love songs. Okay. So love is a very central theme to a lot of your music. Yes, because I, I think a lot of people have challenges in their relationship because they don't communicate. Communication is the key. Right. And, it might be easy to right. fall in love, but to stay in love, that's the harder part. Right, problem. right, exactly. And, and you know, uh, people miss that. That's one key word. You have to communicate. If you don't communicate, you don't know what's going on in the other person's mind or heart and soul, and you misunderstand them and they misunderstand you because you don't care or maybe you act like you don't care or maybe you don't know to care whatever but the point is that you need to always communicate and and be honest and trust one another that yes. just, those three things are most trust um, care and you don't love the person you know well we certainly look forward to hearing and sharing Lots of this music, and of course, having you back on to talk about any new releases and and that. Um, yes. What what else can you tell the people as far as staying tuned and, and looking out for new music by Tim Carlos? Yes, uh, you can find my music on YouTube videos, uh, Rose, which I just released on the 13th of June. Uh, you can find Rosie Rosa on uh, YouTube. Are You the One for Me will be coming out in about six to eight weeks. Um, you'll find a lot of my songs on iTunes, Spotify. Uh, just look up T-I-M-K-A-R-L-O-S. Well, Tim, it's been a supreme pleasure. We look forward to and congratulate you on your great work and development and hope you the best of luck on your music and look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me on, uh, Jay. I appreciate it.